farmers have been told to you know look for the simple way of managing weeds and what we're telling farmers is simple doesn't work anymore you know it's kind of nice in this field that we get to walk around a little bit to find this weed right but this weed is easy to find in just about every other field that i have the weeds have figured out how to beat simple management systems and they need to diversify their program as much as possible and that's what we in Iowa State University Extension and Outreach are, are doing with the farmers, helping them understand how they can diversify their herbicide program in a way that will still allow them to produce corn and soybeans profitably. Okay, so Brian, here's one of the few water hemp's you have in this field. How, how has this weed affected your weed management programs? Well, it, it's, it's made me, uh, I, I gotta stay in a timely fashion of my applications. I have to um, if, if this one gets away from you by a couple weeks, it's hard to catch up. Right. In the past 10 years, herbicide resistance has, has grown into a, a significant problem that is really limiting the ability of farmers to effectively control weeds. This is causing them to use additional herbicides, which uh, increase their production costs. Uh, in some cases, many farmers have had to go back to increase tillage. Uh, but the big problem is that there's, we don't control the weeds and that has a negative impact on the yield potential of the crop. So we were in another field that had a lot more of it than here. What do what's, you do different in this field than that first field we visited? Well, a couple of major differences. I didn't put a pre down in the other field. I was going to save some money. Uh, prices aren't the best. Mm -hmm. I was going to save myself uh, a, a trip and some herbicide costs and the weeds came on heavy. I was delayed with my application. My post application was delayed because of rainfall. Uh, the water hemp came back heavy in, in August, Right. you know, with more rain. This field, I got a pre down, I no-tilled. It's also narrow rows compared to 30, it's 15s. Um, and it's done, it's just done a really nice job on this field. What Iowa State University Extension and Outreach is doing is working with farmers, helping them determine how to develop a herbicide program that attacks the weeds with a diversity of products. And so we want to make sure that the farmers are using herbicides that kill weeds in different ways. And by doing this, this can delay the development of resistance to, to new herbicides. You're doing a great job in this field with a, a pre-emergence herbicide, uh, followed with the post-emergence herbicide, and then with the narrow rows. The critical thing is just, you know, evaluating those herbicide programs, making sure you're using multiple sites of action, uh, so you're hitting these weeds with a diversity attack. can't cut corners. Can't cut corners. We can foresee in the future that if we continue to use these simple programs that have been the mainstay for the past decade, that we will run out of herbicide options and face those complete crop failures that uh, were common in the southeast U.S. So we're trying to be proactive, get the farmers to adjust their systems now so that the options we have remain viable and we can continue to stay ahead of the weeds without going to some of these more drastic tactics such as increased tillage.